I play Gail Hawthorne. Uh, he's uh, a boy from District 12. Um, and he uh, <clears throat> becomes best friends with uh, Katniss. Uh, they both, both of their fathers die in a mining accident, the same mining accident. And uh, they meet hunting in the woods and they both basically come from the same background and basically have to do the same thing in life. They're both providing for their families that can't provide for themselves. Gail's a good, strong-minded person who hates nothing more than he hates the capital. You know, he hates everything they stand for. He hates what they do to people. And he, you know, he, he doesn't want to side with them. He doesn't want to give in to, to what they stand for. And, uh, you know, I think he gets really frustrated at times because of the whole Hunger Games thing. And, and you know, he thinks it's very wrong. And he's constantly trying to think of ways he can get away from it or stop it. Or... Hunger Games takes place in Pan Am, which is a country part of America. Um, in the future, and it's, it's post-apocalyptic. There's been a global war and this Pan Am country is what remains of this, this hugely destructive war. And uh, it's basically made up of 12 districts, or 12 towns, and uh, it, there used to be 13. And uh, 13 is, is thought to have been completely destroyed by the, the, the uprising, which was 75 years before it, this takes place. Um, and uh, yeah, basically these districts are extremely poor, poor towns that are forced to provide resources for the capital, which is, you know, a ridiculously extravagant place. I think she trusts Gail more than anyone in the world, you know, and she's constantly changing her mind about who she can trust and who she thinks she trusts and who people are really. And I think for her, he, he's always been completely honest and she knows that. You know, she knows that there's no, you know, he's not trying to get anything from her. He's not trying to, there's no other motive, you know, other than he, he's her friend. And I think that's what she always leans back on. They're kind of the one person in their lives that they trust, you know, and, and Gail definitely feels like he can say whatever he wants to say and get anything off his chest and, you know, talk bad about the capital and what they can do to get away from it. And uh, I think she feels the same, you know, she, he, he's a, He's a comfort for her and uh, she's kind of, he's been the only person for her to lean on. You know, her mum wasn't there when her dad died. She kind of lost it and sister's too young. So, yeah, I think, I think they're just, they're each other's only escape from the horrible world they live in. Jennifer Lawrence plays Katniss and uh, she's, I mean, she, she, I think she could do anything she wants. She, she's an amazing actress. I saw Winter's Bone when she, she did a while ago, and uh, she's, she's phenomenal in that. I don't think, you know, it's a similar character to that, that story. You know, she, she has to provide for her family and, you know, do what she needs to do. And uh, I think if anyone's going to do it, she's going to do it. Willow Shields plays Prim, uh, Katniss's younger sister. And uh, she's a... Uh, little kids really get me. They, I mean, they're worked with little kid actors before and when, when they start out, you know, crying or anything like that, it makes makes my job so easy because you just, you react to, you know, a little kid crying, there's not much else to do. It's, a, it's such a sad thing to watch a little kid cry and, and she does it on cue. She's an incredible little actress and, uh, yeah, I mean, she's cute and smart and funny, just like, you know, like the prim. Uh, Gary Ross is directing. Um, and uh, he's, he's great. He's great because he has a clear vision of what he wants. And, uh, you know, and even if, if what he thought he wants doesn't maybe work, then he's, he's so flexible. You know, he's so easy to work with because he just allows you to do what you want and try it a billion different ways. And, uh, you know, he's just great. I think a good set, you know, a comfortable set is because the director's relaxed you know, and, and, and is happy to be there, and, and he certainly is every day. I think it's, it's cool to see a, an ordinary girl have such an impact on so many people and bring strength and hope to people. And, you know, it's, it's not because she tries to or she's, she's, you know, she doesn't even know she's doing it, but, you know, out of a good heart and doing what she believes in, she allows people hope, you know, for the first time in a long time. Because of the character Katniss, I mean, she's, you know, she's an ordinary girl that grew up in a, 
a bad world. And, you know, she does things simply. She does what she needs to do. And she doesn't do it for any other reason than because she has to. And, uh, you know, without even meaning to, she, she gives people hope and, and strength to, you know, to fight back. There's only so much you can imagine in your head. I mean, you, you make it all up in your head. You read it and you, you have ideas about what you think it, it, could, it could look like and, and what it might look like. And then, you know, for fans, they get to see it all brought to life. You know, you get to see it, you know, for real. And, and uh, I don't know, for me, that's, I, I'm excited to see it. You know, reading the book and having all these images in my head of what's going to happen and how it's going to look, it's, I can't wait to see it all, I think. Uh, you know, the, the movie also, I think, it's cool because you, in the book, it's, it's all played very much from her perspective. And so is the script, but also you get to see a little more of, of what happens around her and with other people, um, which you don't really get to see in the book. So, so I think that'll be cool. Thank you.